What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video on learning uh, Java. My name is uh, QD Yazdani and you guys are watching my channel Coraiwood. In this video we're gonna talk about uh, constructor. We're gonna introduce you guys the idea of the constructor, what constructor, constructor is and why do we need a constructor. Alright, so in order for us to build uh, a building or uh, say build anything, uh, for example, we need to construct something, construct an object. So how do we construct our object? Just like a builder that goes there in uh, digs in the ground and uh, with the bobcat, whatever tools they have. So they start digging and uh, they uh, start building a wall or they start building a house or they start making a model of the building. Uh, then they need to, they need to construct something they that they call the you can call the builders as like uh, the construction company so the construction company and the constructor the people who does the construction the job of the construction we call the constructors that's exactly the same with the programming say for example in the previous videos in the do while when we were creating this program if you guys observe here, we have uh, created this uh, Java util, utility scanner of class. So we are here we are uh, using the new keyword uh, because uh, as I said to you guys, we're going to instantiate this one. So this guy here, the N1 scanner is that, that's the constructor here. So the new operator here, that's, we're going to instantiate through this one. And uh, this guy here is going to be the return reference of the newly created object so the scanner here is that's that's what we call a call to the constructor we're going to call the class constructor here so if you guys observe here the name of the constructor and the name of the class is, is exactly the same all right so in order for us to show you guys again we're going to go here in our uh, project and you guys can create any java class say class you can place class dog or class lion or tiger whatever you like so or you, you can create a class any any class you like okay so I'm gonna create create a class for example lion so once uh, my class class lions created so now uh, if you guys observe here I have a public which is the access modifier and I have a class and I have a lion here so how I'm gonna cre create my uh, constructor I'm gonna briefly show you guys the anatomy of the say constructor say the first part here is that uh, we're gonna put it here public uh, say for example modifier so we put an access modifier we put an access modifiers okay so that's exactly like here that's what we're gonna use here so we're gonna put an access modifier then followed by the constructor name Okay, so the constructor name is just exactly like a class name here. All right, so and then what's going to happen here inside the parentheses is the parameter list. And uh, then if you that optional is throws, you guys can put it here throws clause. So throws, you guys can put a clause. This is uh, optional if you guys, if your constructor throws something, you guys can do, can put it here. But the, for the sake of the uh, completeness, I put it here. And this guy here, from here to here, is the body of the constructor. So you can put anything inside the body of uh, constructor. But keep in mind, constructors has no return. I'm gonna repeat again, no return type with a normal method you guys can uh, put a return say for example in we have uh, done it uh, previously we have returned something but uh, with the constructor you guys not allowed to put any any return type here with your constructor because that's not allowed in, in the java keep in mind now that the constructor name is going to be exactly the say say for example the class name so what we're going to do here say we're going to put a public because we want our constructor to be public and we're going to put a lion so this is the constructor now this is a very very simple constructor because if you guys look in here that's uh, having the access modifiers as a public 
as a public and uh, having a, say exactly the same name as a class the class lion so now you guys looking here that you guys might be thinking this is a class but no that's a constructor and uh, as we said here you guys uh, when you guys call so here uh, I was showing you guys here scanner scanner output because uh, when we use a constructor here that's uh, exactly the same name of the class so because that's the name of the class here we are going to instantiate with the new the constructor of this class because the constructor shares the na same name of the as the class in here you guys can uh, pass as many parameters at least as uh, as you guys like and uh, in the front you guys can uh, throw any exception here at the front so if you think your constructor needs to throw some uh, sort of uh, uh, exception you guys can uh, can put it here but now you guys might be thinking but uh, mr yes danny this is look looks exactly the same name as like a method yes you're right a method uh, that's exactly like, like a method but the method you guys cannot put the name of the class say uh, for example now you guys can uh, put a public uh, say you can lion walks for example but uh, you guys looking here I uh, have to complete here so you looking here the lion walks that's exactly you can put a void here for example uh, you guys can put it here line walks that's exactly the same name as, as here but this is constructor this is a method you guys if you're uh, new to Java you guys might be our C++ you guys uh, might be tricked because you guys are gonna see here there is a public uh, there is a, a parenthesis and there is a body of the say method that's that's what exactly because constructor looks exactly the same as a, as a method but it's it's a method but it's a special method and this method is called constructor so the first part I'm gonna repeat the first part is access level modifier and the second part is the name of the constructor and the name of the constructor should be and it should be the same name as the class and uh, you guys can put throw uh, exceptions whatever you guys want to put and here is a body of the constructor so if I uh, put a, a statement here I put a system dot out dot print print line and if I put a the line roars The line rolls and I want to put a constructor okay so now this class is uh, doing something here it says that the line rolls I'm gonna remove this one this constructor is gonna do only one job and the job is that it's gonna give me some uh, something to put it on the screen that the line rolls and I've just put it constructor to let you guys know that this is a constructor all right so now we are gonna create another class say for example line action and um, we're gonna use the constructor of uh, this class just exactly like uh, here we have used the constructor of the scanner class okay so we're gonna put another uh, Java class and we put a line action for example so the line action is a class and now we need to import this uh, class line so we're gonna put a import we put a com dot uh, uh, dot uh, lion okay so now line action we're gonna put a public static void main string array of strings of uh, args and uh, now we're gonna bring our line okay so here we have our line our line has a constructor and the, this constructor only have uh, one print line and this line says line rows constructor okay so now how to bring this uh, class line the constructor here we need to instantiate this guy here just exactly like uh, previously we have uh, instantiated 
new scanner exactly we've done that and now we need to put a new lion here so we're going to put a lion uh, say Alex for example new lion and you're going to see that the uh, Java is uh, auto complete so lion uh, that Alex is the name that we are giving and we put a new lion all right so now we're going to run our uh, here you guys are gonna come here and we'll put a line action because this line actions have a void main. Java is very very clever. If your uh, class have void main, then it comes for Java for uh, IntelliJ idea to process. So because the line didn't have the uh, main, but it has a constructor. That's why because uh, Java knows and uh, IntelliJ idea knows that we're gonna uh, we're gonna we are working on this one. So here says that the lion roles constructor because now we this we successfully instantiated uh, this class the constructor here this is the constructor this is a very very simple example of the java constructor if you guys coming from the c plus plus you guys are going to be observing you guys are going to see that this is exactly the same as uh, c plus plus because in c plus plus we're going to put the name of the constructor is exactly the same name of the, like the class <clears throat> so how about if you put a just a, uh, here on top of if, if I put a just a new line for example if I don't put uh, Alex or uh, here like uh, I'm gonna put a new line that's it so I'm gonna remove this one like this and I'm gonna run and you guys see here no there is no change there is no change here so i'm going to run again and i'm going to show you there is no change the reason then you guys might be asking why why then we need to put this one uh, alex here the reason you guys need to put alex here lion alex is because sometimes you guys have another methods here for example you guys uh, have a, a void for example uh, lion uh, say he walks And then uh, if you gonna put here uh, line rules and uh, line uh, walks and then uh, we put a method for example because this is a method now if you guys want to want to access this one then you guys need to instantiate the constructor and through the constructor you guys need to put a name and you guys need to access this uh, method here so in the line walks you guys need to come here and need to put here through this one you guys cannot do that say uh, if you for example if uh, we save everything and run again you guys gonna see two of these but you are not gonna see your method Lion rules, but you're not going to see this guy here, the method here. So how do we going to access the, the method? In order for us to access the method, we need the name. So this this name says Alex. We put a Alex. We put a dot line walks. So if you put a dot, it means we are going through the constructor of this one because we instantiate it now. This Alex have uh, the instantiation of the constructor of the line line uh, class constructor here this guy here and because this class have also line walks through this constructor we're going to access this uh, line walks just like uh, when the building is under construction you guys go to the in order for for you guys to go inside the building the construction side you guys need to go to see the builder because the builder is the constructor company they do construction company then you guys can have access to the site otherwise there no one's gonna let you go into the building site so when you put this one alex uh, alex dot uh, line walks and you're gonna see here <coughs> that two guys the top ones coming from the constructor and this guy this the bottom one comes from the line walks which is the method here this is the method that's what you guys gonna do this so the constructor plays a 
central role in the class. Every time you guys need to put a class, you guys need to put a constructor. But there are a lot of con types of constructor. That's going to be our discussion for the future videos. And uh, there you can do a lot of tricks uh, with the constructor. But at the moment, you guys need to understand that the constructor you guys have should have the same name of the class. Construction ha constructors have no return type. And uh, here you guys need to put a public access modifier. You can put a public. Uh, protected or private it's up to you whatever you wish you can put it here if you uh, if you think that you, this constructor should be hidden from uh, say other other classes you guys need to put a protected or private but if you think this constructor should be public you guys you guys can put a public and then you guys can put your all your methods it doesn't matter if it's one or hundred thousand and you guys need to come here in another file you guys need to import first to begin with your uh, class and then you guys need to put this one you can put a new for example uh, constructor for example or you can put a line you can put any anything a b c x y z alex george whatever you guys like and to in order for uh, for you to instantiate your class and constructor and then you guys need to put a dot to access all your methods here through your constructor because this name now here alex holds this constructor instead share the new copy when we can instant share it, it means we want the new copy of this uh, constructor all right guys uh, that's it for this video if you guys have any question or comment leave in comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye